Hi Aquarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of May the 16th to the 23rd, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing my videos with your family members and friends. Welcome to all the new people to my circle requesting private readings and blessing to all my return clients. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. If you want accuracy, clarity, and answers to any questions, I welcome and invite you to go to my website. And that is www.brendatero.info. See you soon, Aquarius. We start our week on Monday with an Earth card, and you have been given the Queen of Earth. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, our jobs, careers, often uh, how we bring that currency into our circle. It has to do with Mother Earth and our very, very close circle, our families. This is telling me that um, you are going to have to make time for people around you. And when you do, take a sensible approach because it shows me that there may have been a little bit of a conflict with some of these individuals. Deal with any challenges when you meet these people and you, uh, you communicate with them. Um, and spend time with them with understanding and kindness. Well, isn't this interesting? For Tuesday, the Justice card. And this is all about fair and just decisions and doing what you know is right and standing up for your own beliefs. It's basically, uh, you know, about um, <clears throat> trying to make a decision. And when you do, be objective about it. And if you are objective, the decision will be made in your favor. It's doing what's right. It's taking responsibility for your own actions and resisting any injustice coming into yourself this week. Um, standing up for your own beliefs and issuing or accepting an apology as well. Wednesday crowning your week, you've been given a fire card and this is the five of fire. Fire cards have to do with setting our thought patterns and our passions into motion, a bit of risk taking, sometimes adventure, and definitely about self-development. It's telling me that some of you are going to be dealing in the middle of the week with some uh, troublesome and competing goals, bothersome details are coming in, and it could cause conflicts with others. Thursday, wonderful card, the sun. It's a wonderful time for you. You're succeeding in ways you never dreamed that you could. It's a happy outcome to a situation in your life right now. It's all about brilliant new ideas and that lead you to success. Um, you need to have confidence in yourself right now. Um, it's also the card of vibrant emotional and physical health. Friday, two of air. Air cards have to do with the... Uh, the injustice that comes into our lives and dealing and communicating with individuals that bring that in, things that we don't like to deal with. Often it can have to do with legal issues and lawyers and attorneys. This is telling me that they're, you're dealing with someone uh, very different from yourself and you've locked horns over an issue. Perhaps it has it is a legal dispute that you're dealing with in court and with your lawyers and attorneys. Um, it's being unable or unwilling to make a decision. You've locked horns and neither one of you uh, thinks there's a problem with this, but it's caused a stalemate. So one of you is going to have to break away and make that decision. Another air card for Saturday, 10 of air, similar situation. Now they're showing me you broke away and it will be the end of this difficult situation. It's going to bring in change and you need to embrace this change because uh, things are going to get better and you need to expect and know that things will get better. This card is also for any of those that have anyone close to them or themselves that has any type of an addiction that this will be the beginning and the recovery of that addiction. Sunday, end of the week, Queen of Water. Water cards have to do with relationships, sometimes romantic and intimate and other times not. This is telling me that there is a relationship that's going to develop to a new level and you need to trust your own intuition with this. Um, it's all how you care for each other, how you care for them and how they care for you. Um, and, and, and like this Queen of Water, she is tender-hearted, empathic, patient, and loving. These are the qualities that you are going to need to take on and demonstrate yourself with this relationship. Again, I have added a card to finish off this reading 
And this card is with the Ascended Masters, this Oracle card. And the one they gave me was fertility. Now, fertility has many reasons, uh, many uh, explanations. Uh, the obvious is that perhaps there will be a child coming into your life because the Sun card also exhibits that it can be the success of childbirth. There may be a child coming in for those of you that have been trying. So this fertility card would pertain to that. It also can have to do with abundance coming into your life in many forms. And it can also have to do with um, uh, setting your passion and your thoughts into motion. Anybody working on a project, anybody working on a new endeavor, know that things will work out. This is the beginning of that. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Aquarius, again I leave you with another quote and the quote I chose today is, happiness is when you feel good about yourself without feeling the need for anyone else's approval. See you again next week and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you my friend.